Welcome to the first small basic tutorial. In this lesson, we'll be learning about basically an introduction to small basic. Small basic is available by going to your web browser. I'm going to www.smallbasics.com. Wait for it to load. And click on the download button. That one. And follow the instructions and run it. You probably know how to run it. So let's go and open Microsoft Small Basic. Small Basic is an easy uh, version of Visual C, but it can still, but still has the same functionalities. So let's get started. Well, actually, in the next tutorial, we'll actually get started. So let's have a look at a few of the shall we say steps oh so let's load this calculator program so let's go through the steps so let's run and ask for our first number and ask for our second number and our second number is five you see it won't, it won't run this time and the operation is fast and safe. So let's have a look at the code for this little machine. So the, all of this is begin. The whole program is begin is under the begin label, but it's very important because I've watched this other one. So text window dot clear clears anything that's already in the text window. Text window dot write line allows you to write a line or press like enter and or write what you say in your box. So then it will say welcome to small basic calculator into your first number here. Num and it'll say text window num one is equal to text window dot read number. So the number that you type in I won't you type in anything else. It will only let you type in a number and it'll make it still work in number one. Text window dot pause pauses it and Text window dot clear clears the well, the, clears the text window, and I'll ask you to do the same with num two, and then it'll ask for the operation you like to perform. Let's say o is equal to text window dot read, so the operation is o. So if it's plus, then num one equals num two, and you can see the the seed of the steps num one equals minus num two. And else if num one times num two means zero, and I'll write the line with num three the variable. The variable num three. You know say go to text window dot four, six window clear. Would you like to do perform another operation? Yes or no. Now the do again is a label, which we know it's a variable, but text window dot read is going to be equal to the do again. So then it'll run if the do again equals y or the do again equals lowercase y, then go to beginning. Otherwise, it's the end of the program. And we've already seen it in action, but let's do it one more time. Five times, actually five times, and it was 25. And so that is the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll get started on an actual program and we'll see what we'll be making within the next tutorial. Goodbye.